Hello! How is everyone doing? I'm getting ready. Sorry, look at my hair. It's half straightened, half not. I'm a wreck. So I'm getting ready to actually head down to Orange County to go and visit my little sissy, Sydney. So I'm getting ready for that. I'm honestly surprised I did my makeup because I've had my makeup done like the last like three days. It's like the longest I've had it done in a very long time. But we're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna maybe grab some food down there, catch up. But I thought I'd vlog some of it. I haven't filmed with Sydney in such a long time. If you guys are new to my channel, Sydney, is my oh my god look at my hair that looks crazy so if you don't know who sydney is she is like my little sister she moved to la a couple years ago um but now she's in school she's a smart little nugget if you're asking what i'm doing with my hair i'm putting two pigtails in it i normally don't slick my hair back because if you haven't noticed already i have a big forehead um this is something that i was actually i've talked about this before but this is something actually that i've been super insecure about for a really long time before i get into my forehead story this is what i used to slick my hair back Anne Marie got me on it and it's great it's called moco de gorilla it's like the best gel to like slick your hair back with it just it doesn't make it super like crunchy or flaky or anything it's like the best thing ever i'm really insecure about my forehead it's something that i just have never have been like proud of i used to get made fun of it a lot when i was younger yeah it's just like an insecurity of mine but i feel like i've learned very much to kind of embrace it just not care too much about it because at the end of the day like there's really nothing too crazy about it you know obviously when i tell people that like i have a big forehead they're like no you don't i'm like i know i have a big forehead and when people tell me they have a big forehead in front of me i'm like but it's okay i'm embracing it apparently there was some things saying that the most beautiful women in the world have big foreheads i was like oh, thank you i appreciate it so i did my hair and forgot that i was wearing a hoodie and if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm gonna be putting this hoodie on and probably gonna ruin my hair. Dude. Oh. It didn't get fed up. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Great people. Yeah, the tracksuit I'm wearing is like this nude tracksuit. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. It was a vibe. I had to wear the missing tracks. I mean, the missing tracksuit. I had to. I love how the lighting just dramatically changes. Hello, can this? Do I do the Pumas? They're like white with like some pink and yellow on them. So they're like kind of neutrally looking. Or do I do the Dunks? I wish I could really talk to you guys right now because this would be really helpful. I think I'm gonna go with the Dunks. They're my new sneakers as of right now. I think I'm gonna vibe with these guys actually. Okay, so I changed my sneakers. I put on the Puma platforms, but the ones with the black accents. Because I realized that the, the sweatsuit has black on it. I didn't even realize. I totally forgot. So, you know how I got my nails done last week? Well, they're pissing me off. So, I'm going to literally just chop them. Well, it's because my thumb broke and it's annoying. So, honestly, my nails grew pretty damn strong, I will say. I have a towel on the ground, guys. Don't worry. I'm not just dropping nail clippings onto the floor. Oh, also, guys, I got vaccinated i got my first dose whoop whoop i got the pfizer vaccine but not bad at all i did have like a dead arm for two days like my arm literally just felt like someone decked me in the arm really hard but other than that it wasn't bad it did not affect me that bad i know some people have been getting like really bad fevers for a couple days and stuff like that but everyone's telling me that the second dose though wrecks you we'll see how that does guys i can't make sure it up because my luck is just so bad my car broke i went to the gas station and the screen is frozen like nothing works i can't use the ac i can't use anything in my car right now like i can't like nothing i'm scared to drive an hour away now because what if it keeps breaking so i literally called the dealership and was like hey brought it in a couple days ago for service and this has never happened now it's not working so i am not that happy right now i know it's a car and i know it's probably not their fault but like what the fuck? I just like literally this has never happened to me before I'm stopping here to see if they can reset the car because like what the f like literally guys I'm just like what happened why is my car broken and then the lady on the phone was like if we can't fix it now you're gonna have to either leave it or uh bring it back and I was like Sydney I may not get to you today I can't make this up 
I literally go inside, tell the guy that helped me last time, he was so nice. I was like, so sorry, but like my screen's frozen. I brought it back and like, I mean, it was here, what, a couple days ago? And he was like, oh no, for sure. Like, let me do a hard reset. It'll take like 15 minutes. I'm like, okay, thank you so much. Literally two minutes later, he comes back. He's like, oh, I turned the car back on and it's working. And I was like, what do you mean it's working? I've been turning it on and off for the last 30 minutes. It, you know, it sometimes does that, but like if it turns off completely next time, like just bring it in and we'll do a hard reset. Like, and he was like, the way that you have to do it is like disconnecting the battery and stuff. And he's like, I wouldn't want you to do that. I'm like, I don't want to do that. That sounds like I would ruin the car somehow. I appreciate him like bearing with me and that I was here for two minutes, but whatever. Oh my God. Okay. I'm on my way to go see Sydney now. Like I said, dude, like literally can't make this shit up, but everything happens for a reason. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe I wasn't meant to be on the freeway at this moment. I was supposed to be on the freeway five minutes later because something might've happened. I believe in everything happens for a reason. Zen mode. I gotta say Zen. Okay. I need to go meet up with Sid because I'm starving. Guys, I'm with Sid! I'm back. Oh, she's back. <laughs> We're back, people. I came to visit Sydney. We're in her cheeky car right now. Cheeky Toyota. To yeah, cheeky Toyota. We're gonna grab like late lunch, early dinner. Yeah. Walk around the circle. Thrift. Yeah. Wait, so everyone knows, does everyone know you go to Chapman? Um, yeah. Okay, so. Some people do. I go to uh, Chapman in Orange County. Yeah, that's what I said. I said you live in Orange County. But yeah, she goes to school yeah. at Chapman, and she's gonna take me around town, around the college town. I'm gonna show you, like, the I, way. I didn't experience college. Yeah, welcome to college life. I actually don't ha experience college life. Yeah, everything's online for her right now, but she lives down here. We just got our food. Woo, it looks so good. Yeah, so we got some Thai food. I've we never got... had Thai. Okay, well take a bite. Let I'm me sorry, know what you think. No, 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 go, go. I want I want I want to see your reaction. Yeah. She's never had pet CU, so this is like Thai food. It's just noodles with chicken, eggs, and broccoli. Mmm. You like it? It's so good. It's like sweet. Yeah, it's like a sweet and soury like soy Ooh. sauce. Yeah, it's good, That's right? So good. So good. Yeah, so I got the same thing but without egg because I'm allergic. We're gonna eat some lunch or liner. Liner, yeah, some like liner, <laughs> and then maybe we'll grab some dessert after. Yeah. That could be fun. We're gonna walk around, mm -hmm. vibe, I'm trying to explore. Yeah. Okay, guys, we came to an abandoned, not abandoned. <laughs> not abandoned at all. It's like just a dead empty, like no one's here, like everyone's out of work. Like it's an empty parking lot building of some whatever <laughs> company. I don't know what I'm saying. And we're gonna take pics. Uh, Sid, let me borrow her uh, jacket she got at the thrift, uh, no. Melrose Trading Post. Melrose Trading Post. Um, But we're gonna take some pics, guys, okay? Are you, do you want pics too? Are you getting pics? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna both take pics and we're gonna make some content for y'all. A little photo shoot. Uh, remember when we uh, used to take pics all the time? Did. This is so Sydney used to live five minutes away from me, and then she decided to move an hour away now. So yeah, slightly salty. And about for that, that reason, I'm sorry. <laughs> and for that reason, I apologize. But like we used to be able to hang out, like no, uh, on the spot. Yeah, I would literally call Sydney and be like, "Hey, um, can I come over and just grab lunch?" She's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Okay." I know. I'm, and now we have to like plan like a week ahead. I know, literally. Oh yeah, Chelsea's in the back. She's in the, if you want to pop up for a second, say hi, Chelsea. I don't know if they can see you. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, she's guys. There she, she is. is. Yeah, there she is. So uh, we are on our way to Laguna Beach. We haven't been in probably two years. We are headed there now because LA is gonna be like 90 degrees today. And we decided to do a beach day. Okay guys, we made it to Laguna. Parking was uh, interesting. How was my parking job? Brittany's boat is like a yacht. Guys, what? see a picture of me in this car, with this car. Oh. No, Chelsea. Uh, no, Franny's parking is heinous. She has the largest car and does not know how to do it. <laughs> Photo shoot, go right. for it, girly. Chelsea came in booty. She looks so cute. That's not it. <laughs> Chelsea has decided. 
decided she wants to take a dive in the ocean. Don't look at my cheeks. Oh yeah, she's got her wisdom teeth out, so it's okay. It's okay, we're doing But good. the waves look a little gnar gnar right now. Chelsea, please don't get taken out by a wave. I promise I won't. Emery, are you going? No. Oh god, no. Okay. I want to, but I'm scared. Chelsea, the sunglasses are gonna get taken off of you. She goes head first into Oh, 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 there she goes. It's so cold and I'm so pale looking right now. Ew. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm scared to get like taken by the waves and then land flat on my cheek. Yeah, no. I maybe just be careful. It's <laughs> very cold though. <laughs> So Where is she going? My feet are completely numb. Why do people just jump into this sh like it's a hot tub? <laughs> it's so cold. I'm from the East Coast and I don't like this water. It's freezing. Uh oh, oh, oh. If I win, I would have hypothermia. See ya. <laughs> okay, guys, so we trekked up those heinous stairs and got some food. We got burritos from this small little taco stand. Chelsea has a burrito bowl. She's got to eat some mushy food. Mushy, Ow. yes. How big is it? It's as big as my head. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so um, we have left the beach and we got smoothies. I got a bit, well no, I got a smoothie. I'm like, I don't know who else got smoothies. Yeah. Chelsea's in Tulum right now. I'm in Tulum. Tell me, <laughs> tell me I'm not in Tulum. Drinking my best. Shut up. <laughs> Drinking my best life. Um, we're drunk off smoothies and coffee. Smoothie and coffee. A smoothie <laughs> and a booty. <laughs> Dude, wait, I thought oh, it was like, oh, oh. dude. Look at, please get Chelsea's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> These cheeky things? These boots are made for walking in the sand. She literally said the one that goes. <laughs> 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 it goes like this. Cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, it goes. Do, do, do. No, like this. Yes. Yes. Do, do, do. I know. <laughs> Chelsea. Do the people in there probably think we're crackheads. Well, okay guys, so we're filming a TikTok. I, I blame fortune. Chelsea and Anne Marie for this one. We have this window. Here we go, people. Okay, ready? Go check out the TikTok on Chelsea's TikTok. Okay, bye. I love you.